<laughs> Cries a lot. Um, but yeah, so we're about to see the start of top eight on winner's side, Stocktaker versus Jewel. Stocktaker opting for Villager. Uh, mm, yep. I saw the Palu and I was like, uh, you spoke too soon there. Okay. Um, well, he did. He, I can see why. He played Villager against me. It was very solid. Uh, two stock. <laughs> but um, I imagine this isn't the best matchup for Robin necessarily. You got Pocket there and uh, you can contest with the, that slingshot and those projectiles that Villager has. Yeah, it keeps, it keeps anything with an Unga stick away. Oh, and but that arc fire actually uses the tree to Jewel's advantage. I uh, think by you know being a aerial sort of what is that called? I don't know, a wall. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that it's aerial a fire wall. wall. It's a firewall. Yeah, uh, I'm speaking Norden talk. I don't know what to say. Norden malware, <laughs> three sixty firewall. Yeah, uh, but. Jewel get... taking this fantasy character, going cyber with it. Yeah, we're going science fiction. Whoa, kissing that blast, that blast zone. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be a very interesting matchup. This is the first time I've seen this. That's the yeah. That back here is going to take stock tickers for stock. Along with that, um, remember, folks, here at Aeon, we we run top three, three out of five. So this is still on the two out of three threshold. So this game one is pretty important, especially to a player like Stock Taker, because he's a counterpick player. Yep, one of the biggest counterpick players ever. The reason why we know all the counterpicks to like Villager and Wolf and Banjo and Bayo, not Bayo. Well, Palu. yeah, Palu, this guy. He does have a Bayo. Toon Link soon. <laughs> exactly. Now he's been he played Toon Link all of last week. But uh, let's get back into this. It's about an even game, but Jules got him in the corner. The gyro's going to hit him out. Gyro. The Lloyd Rack is going to hit him out. Oh, my god! Starting to use that Nair uh, when Jewel wants to get close. Nair is super fast um, and has really low ending lag, so he's able to mix them Whoa. into each other. That's going to spike, but he jumps finishing off early. with the bowling ball. Yeah, good good stuff from Stocktaker. Reading that he's going to jump back. Yeah, he takes the lead here. Big lead, too. And one thing I'm also noticing is that normally Stock Taker actually like plays a little bit like uh, not not campy per se, but like a little chilled out, like not as like uh, not as aggressive as others characters. Uh, he's gonna get the, the Levin sword. sword. Just <laughs> uses it for some damage, but he's got a full stock lead and he's got a percent lead on this stock. Okay. Oh, gonna wait that out. Reads that Jewel wants to dash in. Good parry from Villager also. Okay. When anything's out, trying to bait something with the water. He's gonna get it the second time with the tree. Not gonna hit Jewel with anything. That arc fire wall gonna help Jewel get the up smash. And now we're at an even game. One stock to one stock. One ten percent on on Jewel. Here comes the giant bowling ball, and Jewel managed to counter back with a with a book saying, "No, read. <laughs> Do your homework, kids." Oh, he doesn't have the. Uh, the Wind's book. He doesn't have Elwin, so he's got to wait for that to recharge. He has Thunder, so as long as he doesn't get knocked off stage. Oh, that's Those huge. Ratu going to help him uh, with his with the, with the, percent. With the, yeah. yeah, with his percent. That's huge. Yeah, he's got Elwin back, though. He's able to get it. Oh, the, the tree going to extend his hitbox, yeah. Yo, that tree grew up and hit puberty by the time it hit. <laughs> it was out for that long. Oh, oh my gosh. My God, the arc fire really giving Stock Taker trouble. This is a very interesting matchup here. We're just seeing it more and more because I thought this was going to be like maybe a 55-45. I see this being dead even, actually, just because of the fact that he can bully away. He can bully the, with the tree. Oh, now Jewel in the air, though. He's in the corner. The slingshot on the way down. It's going to hit Jewel and Stocktaker ga taking game one. All right. All right. Okay, so... Definitely don't see a counter pick. I don't see a counter pick, but at the same time, like... That was really close. That was really yeah. close, yeah. Um, but I think Stocktaker able to develop some counterplay there in the mid game and was able to uh, take that further uh, into him winning the game. Mm -hmm. So definitely going to stay Villager. I think he had to figure it out compared to the beginning of the game where Jewel had the lead. All right, so we're going back to PS2. This is Jewel's counter pick. Stocktaker, though, with the momentum, up 1 0. Like, this is like, and. Like this is just I'm I'm just like playing theory fighter right now. Like I really want to like see possibly break this down. Like what is this matchup? Ooh, what a great spot dodge coming out from Julie. He's gonna get the jab combo to push Stocktaker off stage. 
Going for that edge guard, not going to work out, but he continues to keep that stage control, which is exactly what he needs to build up that damage against Stocktaker. Stocktaker, though, using that slingshot to get back. The R fire is going to catch him. Going for the second one, not going to work out, and he's in the corner again. Going for that down tilt, not going to work out. Okay, okay. So, right now, a dual oh, trying to go for big gonna stuff. Oh, catch with the up smash. Yep, great stuff. All right, so now, so now Jewel winning for Z fighting for Zenkai. Uh, trying to get something started here. He managed to get the stock lead, but it's, but Jared's not giving up just yet. Mm, definitely not. He's doing a great job, uh, you know, keeping Jewel out of his range and sort of just putting on that damage, not letting Jewel get any of that extra credit. That oh, was yeah. a great mix-up on shield with that up air. Along with that, he got the three turnups. RNG, baby. So gets the, some fares out. L wins on the way. Tries to go for that bowling ball, getting a jump read. Not going to get it, and Jewel's going to get back to center stage, trying to build up that damage now that he's uh, reset neutral. But that Nair's going to catch him. It's going to push him off stage. The rocket's going to hit him on his way up. The slingshot's got him off stage. The bowling ball. Oh, great trip from Jewel. Keeping himself lit, keeping himself okay there. Has the arc fire at the ready. Back throw's going to take it. 54%. Yeah, Stock taker, yeah, he's got... He's pocketed arc fire, which is uh, possibly going to lead to some sort of quick combo. Nah. Never gonna, mind. Yeah. It's all right, though. It was worth the attempt. He wasn't punished off of it. He, he, he possibly read like a like a jump in or maybe a roll to center stage. S center stage. Good stuff to stock. Oh, that double up air juggle. Can we get three? Not yet, but we might see it here. That arc fire is going to force stock taker to jump. Jewel catches the landing with down smash. He's got, he got the 11 sword. sword. Yep. Okay. Oh, great explosion there. Yeah, Look. the gentleman's going to do it. Yep. All right, so Stock Taker getting the grab, catching the landing there. All right. Again, trying to force something with the with that uh with the Lloyd rocket. Nobody home though. Stock Taker trying to fight from behind, but Jewel is wearing his number. But the Nair's going to push him right out there. He's got him on the ledge. The Rock is going to keep him there, despite the fact the getup attack hit him. The Arc Fire is going to help Jewel, though. There's a tree there. Let's see what happens. No, the Up Smash is going to do it. So we're at 1-1 apiece. Jewel with the two stock, showing that he's really learned something from that previous game. He's downloaded the Villager. Now here's where, like, the... Here's, like, the... Here's where Stock Taker excels. Like, he can now switch to Wolf. He can switch to. He can stay on villager. He can switch, switch to Palu. Palu. He does have the counter pick. That FD might come in handy. That game one was super important for him mm -hmm. because now he has to ask the opponent. Hey, you staying? Yeah, Stock Taker sitting in the driver's seat. Despite the fact Jewel had a pretty impressive two stock there, Stock Taker has the counter pick on the stage and the counter pick on the character. I was okay. Say, is he going stake? No, but there is no counter pick. Stock Taker is staying villager. I think maybe the stage will help him out. Town is going to keep him alive a lot longer. He's going to be able to gimp him more. Let's, see. let's see if he does it. Yep. All right, this is the, in this winner semis matchup here, folks. Winner goes into to, into winners finals, guaranteed top three, guys. That is a that is a nice pot we're looking at right now. 500. Yeah, Stock Taker really likes pots. 560, ignoring that. <laughs> <laughs> I said he likes pots. He's a cook. He cooks, yeah. he cooks these. He's going to be cooking some Jewel right now after grabbing <laughs> the side B into the grab. And Jewel's at a little bit of a disadvantage, but the platform messes it up and we're back to neutral. Yeah, Stock Taker has to work a lot harder in advantage state if he wants to match the damage that Jewel does. Either that, he has to win neutral a lot more. He does have to win neutral a lot more, and but here's where the like uh, here's the thing that I big, the biggest thing that Stock Taker excels at, and that is ledge trapping, not edge guarding, but ledge trapping. And both of them have a little taste in that. Like he can, co he always covers two options on the way, at least two options out of four. So there's a 50-50 shot of him taking of taking you down. But then you add like, but then you add item move to the mix. Your chances of surviving drastically <laughs> go down. All right, but Jules got him off the ledge. That Arc Thunder not going to work out. And the Arc Fire will confirm into the up smash. So now Stock Ticker down a stock on his counter pick. Oh, read a, read a roll to the right. And the up smash not going to connect, but the RNGesus. Oh, not going to kill yet. But Prayer it's going to do quite answer. a bit of damage. 131 on Jules. The bowling ball not going to work out. 
Yo, Jules, Jules, like, I don't know if it's just, I think that one might have just been him hugging the stage, but the amount of drifting that he's been doing, like, to keep away from that bowling ball, that's sick. All right, so are we going to talk about that execution error, though? He went for the up B, definitely a miss input. That was a great nair to catch him with the stage spike. Stock Taker evening things out, and he really didn't take any damage in that process. Yeah. Okay, 15% has, oh my gosh. Like, I, like my heart skips a beat every time I see that bowling ball. Mm. All right, so the one turn up, maybe the RNG will be different next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I'm starting to be aware of that. Yeah, it's RNG. It's all RNG, baby. Uh, the the eleven sword prevents uh, prevents Stocktaker from building a wall with his uh, fair with the fair bear train. That's the first time I've seen Stocktaker use the jabs in this set. Yeah, it's super effective at the corner, but uh, he was just able to get like about 10, 15 percent off of that. Yeah. Oh, misses the grab though. Jewel going for that B reverse, just gonna get a nair from a Stocktaker. Using Slingshot, gonna push Jewel to the edge. He's got the lead here. The yeah. bowling ball gonna finally connect for the first time in the set. And now Stocktaker is is in the lead, to in, in the, is definitely in the lead. He solidified this lead. Oh my god, Billy Combos? He's got he's got some he's got some nice conversions there. Trying yeah. to pick at him with the with the jab. Nothing yet. He's just gotta stay patient, not get too flustered, and build up that extra credit little by little. He has to force Jewel to approach. Yeah, he and definitely Jewel has doesn't to. probably like that as much. Doesn't, because the thing is, is that you know, you don't gotta you don't have ammo to recharge. With Villager, you kinda gotta use that. You can you, you can use as much as you want. With Robin, yeah. When but you run out, you gotta run out. He's got Stockseeker at the ledge now. That arc fire is gonna push him off again. He tries to go for some sort of read. I think he messed up his execution. Now he's got Jewel in the corner. Jewel off the ledge. The tree's gonna get planted. Gonna put a barrier there, but the down air is gonna push Stockseeker all the way across stage. He's at 140, death percent on death's door. Let's see if Drew can do something about this. Okay. Oh, doesn't punish, doesn't punish the landing on the ground. L Thunder, what? Not gonna kill yet on Town and City's big blast zones. Stocktaker using the platform, coming at him as a chance to reset. The double jump not gonna work out. Jewel's gonna get the Nair. Evening stocks out. We're to last stock situation in this set. All right, let's see if this one, let's see how this one's gonna turn out here. He uses his jump, gets hit by the Lloyd Rocket, but L Wind's gonna take him all the way to center stage. Good Ooh, spot dodge. Yeah, but Stocktaker returning it with his spot dodge of his own. Now Jules in the corner, he's at a really high percent. Stocktaker not taking any percent yet. Yikes, oh, that F smash almost gonna take it there. Woo, that was close. All right, up air, 130%. All right, the back throw is gonna push him off stage. Okay. I'm sure you're gonna put a barrier there. He's got the axe now. Yeah, he's got the axe. He have one more chop in there. Goes for the tree, and oh my god, that delay. That yeah, delay that's gonna was gonna catch cool. him Take jumping. It. The oh. JV from Stocktaker. Whew. All right. Long Super Island still being defended. Long Island.